Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I um, recreated a look that was pretty famous on TikTok for a little bit and I'm a little late to the trend, but I'm gonna place it right here. Uh, I'm in a different location, I'm in my room. I explained in the video why I'm doing that. But um, I also got bangs, that's good. If you wanna follow along and get ready with me, you can do that or this is a little tutorial that I show you how to do it too. If you guys would like to know how I created this look, then keep on watching. Hey guys! Okay, it's been a long time since I recorded a video, and as you can tell, I'm in a different spot. I am actually in my room, and there's a reason for that. I don't like when people can hear me when I'm filming YouTube videos. I don't like when people can hear me talk, and me and Tyler do share a room. Tyler's my boyfriend, not like sleeping wise. Sleeping wise, I guess we also share a room right now because of Corona. But also, we share a room for like our hobby room. I have a makeup studio in my basement, but also, Tyler has a huge computer and monitors, keyboards and all that crap for his hobby, which is gaming. Since his computer is down there, he's doing an internship right now. And since the corona started, his internship has turned online. Now he's downstairs five days a week, always on the computer, and I can't speak at all during the internship. And I used to film on Sundays a lot, but now I just don't. I don't really know why. Today I'm not doing a big body paint. A lot of people have been trying to recreate this makeup. I feel like this is a very trendy kind of makeup right now. It's funny because trends go in and out of makeup a lot. And I feel like for a while, 2017, 2018, a little bit of 2019, I feel like at least before TikTok started becoming a really big thing, very like cut creases, like heavy makeup, dramatic makeup was a thing. And now I feel like it's kind of going back to more like natural the better, but also the idea of natural to a lot of people is still heavy makeup. It's kind of just more like celebrity makeup. If you look at a lot of celebrities, they will have natural-ish makeup, it's soft, but, and a lot of people will be like, I could do that myself. But doing natural makeup that is also good for photos and in person for like a red carpet, and also having it look soft, look like your skin, it is so hard. Like that is one of the hardest things to do in makeup is make a natural makeup look good, but also have it be kind of dramatic, but it's also kind of soft, like Kim K's makeup. I can insert a picture right here. Like that kind of makeup is so freaking hard and only certain specific like makeup artists are able to do that. I think everything looks pretty good. We'll see how the sun moves and if it gets darker, if it gets lighter, if I need to get more lights, things like that. Anyways, let's talk for a second. I haven't been on YouTube in a minute. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. I felt like there wasn't a lot of growth happening on YouTube, even though I've gone back and I did gain a lot of people when I was gone which was weird, but I also think it was because my James Charles makeup, the audition that I did for his show, that one did really well. That video did really well. And I got a lot of followers or subscribers from that. YouTube, I felt like has, how do I word this? It's just been disappointing, you know? Um, not because I haven't really been gaining subscribers. It was hurting my art more than helping it. I wasn't really someone that loved editing. I didn't love spending time editing for hours and hours on end and that's something that you have to do unless you can pay someone to edit your videos. It felt like every time I wanted to do a new look it was disappointing me because I always felt like I had to film a YouTube on top of it and then if I didn't finish the YouTube video editing the YouTube video from last week it would stress me the fuck out if I had to film a new one. I felt like it was just creating a block between my creativity of what I wanted to create and the quality of it. I was stressing out more about what making the video, editing the video, posting the video, and having something to post rather than if my quality of art was good. Enough of that talk. Let's get into doing the makeup. I primed my face with some Unicorn Essence. I'm trying to think if I want to do the eyes first or the face first. I think I'm gonna do the face first because the eyes aren't super heavy where there'll be a ton of fallout. If there is, then I'll just put some powder underneath it. I am going to be using a shade that is not my color. Let me just get that off the bat. This girl is a tanned goddess and I am not. So I'm not gonna be using a color that is too dark, but I'm going to be using a summer color that I used to use when I would actually tan my body before I went to esthetician school. But before, after I went to esthetician school, I don't tan anymore. I fake tan only just because I don't wanna be wrinkly. Now that I'm saying that, this is probably a little expired. What are you gonna do, right? I don't use expired stuff on my clients, but if I wanna use it on me, hey. I'm using L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is my favorite foundation of all time. I don't know why. Maybe I need to try new foundations. Also, I don't think this brand is vegan though. And I've been really trying to do that. So if any of you have some recommendations for really glowy, but also pretty natural looking foundations, let me know and I'll try them. Let's see how much. 
You know, it's not crazy, okay? I'm gonna bring it all the way down though, so. Act like I have a spray tan and I'm just notching my neck, right? I am not an essential worker. I give facials, I do lash extensions, but honestly, to some people, lash extensions are extremely essential. If you had lash extensions and now you are going a little bit crazy, I hear you. We'll get through this together, baby. Anyone else wax their mustache and they get pimples all over their upper lip? I should know how to fix this, but I don't. So if anyone has any tips of how to like stop that, my, the rest of my skin will be perfect and then I'll wax my upper lip. A pile of, pile of pimples on my upper lip. Also, also, also. <laughs> Did you hear that? I'm talking too fast. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff to tell you guys. I just feel like once we all start going out and socializing again, none of us are really gonna know how to socialize. I think my biggest thing that I'm like interested in seeing how it'll turn out after this is done is what things don't come back. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think people are going to continue shake hands anymore. You know the feeling of like right now, you don't wanna be close to anyone you don't live with and like hugging or even like, I don't know, not being six feet apart. I feel like that won't go away for a while. This looks ridiculous. Why am I so white? This is why I can't go to a grocery store because if anyone gets close to me in line, I'm gonna be like, move your ass back. Push over. Do you not listen? Are you listening? This is the color that I would use if I got a spray tan. Once I put concealer on, it kind of all comes together because the concealer is lighter. So I already did my concealer. Just use some shape tape, did that, beauty blender. You guys know the deal with that. Not a big deal that you missed it, right? If any of you have recommendations for a good eyebrow gel, like clear eyebrow gel, please let me know. I have not found an eyebrow gel that really like keeps them in place at all. Like I cannot find one. It's so frustrating. I'm gonna use Elmer's glue and just lift those bad boys up into space. Fresh and cool. Me and my friends earlier in a group chat were talking about shows that we used to watch and some of them like stopped watching Disney and Nickelodeon a long time before I did. <laughs> so I was still there for like Good Luck Charlie and Sam and Cat and shows like that where like some of them stopped at like Hannah Montana and like the Amanda show real foxy brows. I only watched Nickelodeon, Disney, very rarely Cartoon Network. I wasn't a Cartoon Network kind of gal. Like that. Push them up, push them up. We're gonna put some concealer underneath, fix the foundation around it. If you already did this before your foundation, you're so smart and much smarter than I am. And I'll be right back when I have this one also done. I'm back. My eyebrows are done. So now I use this Ben Nye cream matte hd foundation palette i use some of the darker shades down here to bronze <coughs> oh whoa to bronze myself up i mix a bunch of them together because there's not a specific shade that i like to use only i never really was a cream contour kind of person it's come together at first when i started using cream contour which was a long time ago i think i just used a really bad contour stick when i was doing it i hated it it was so hard to blend you just have to find the right bronzer to use even, oh crap, this fell. That probably sounds better. If the audio sounded a little weird, it's because the microphone was dangling on the floor. <laughs> I also use cream blush now. I feel like nose contour with cream blush is that, or cream contour is actually really easy. I just take a blending brush and bring it close to my sides. Cause it's so, oop, that don't look right. Oh, that don't look right. The lighting's changing a bit, so. Oh, you know what? That girl had tape to pull her eyes back. Maybe I can use scotch tape. I completely swear by the ColourPop blush sticks. This is a very pinky though. So sometimes I'll go in after I do the cream and just put on like a light peach orange powder on top of it to kind of diffuse out the pink because it is super pink and I do kind of rather peachy. So I put the cream on a brush. I don't like just putting it right on my skin. I feel like it's harder to blend out that way with a color like this. So I just put it on the brush super lightly and then just feather it like this, smiling a little bit. I just feel so good when I put on blush. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm blushing for some reason. Something just made me blush. 
and then I think of things that could possibly have made me blush when I'm putting on blush. Like, hmm, someone complimented me. Blush, blush. I don't know. I guess the only way I would blush is if someone complimented me, right? The last touch for the face, actually, I'm gonna do powder after this, but the last touch to the face, basically, I've used this highlighting palette for like 10 years and I'm never gonna stop because it's never gonna run out of powder, so. The good thing about this highlight, the Sleek palette, is that you can make it pretty natural, but you can also make it literally blinding. It makes me so mad when I see people walking outside with their dogs. Why can't I have a dog? See, if you do it lightly, it's a little cute highlight, right? Just like that. Now I'm gonna powder my under eyes and any other, any other places that I feel like might be a little oily. And I'll be right back. So I put all my neutral shades into a Z palette, which that was for wedding purposes. It was a lot easier to have a Z palette than carry around a million. Now that I have all my neutrals in one palette, because most weddings are just all neutral colors. But this is handy for a look like this too. Shoot! I went to the kitchen to get tape and I got salt and vinegar chips instead. I'm back with some tape on my face. Since I have this tape on my face anyways, I'm gonna do the wing first. All right, so let's start going in with just like a orangey shade. So you go from lightest to darkest with this. Lightest is like a basically a transition shade. I have a little detail brush to do this. I'm using a blending brush still, but it is a detail brush, so. Now we're gonna go in with a more deeper browner shade. I can't tell you what shades I'm using from palettes because they're in a Z palette now, so I really have no idea. Once I start getting in with the darker colors though, I am gonna grab a brush like a smudger brush and then even in the inner corner use that blending brush to really smudge that out smoke it out it's not supposed to be a harsh line at all and then last but not least want to go in with black I love when they put a little bit on the inner corner too it makes it elongate the eye so just take a little pencil brush bring the black in a little bit so it's like a little mini wing right in the center. I do this all the time, just in my regular daily makeup too, so not daily makeup. I do not do makeup daily. Looks crazy, but when I pull the tape off, it'll be snatched. Just like the transition orange shade that we went in in the beginning, just bring that more into the crease. It's easier just to do now when the tape's there so you don't mess anything with the sharpness up after. So it wasn't super clean, but we're gonna fix it. It's all right. See, that's why I don't really use tape that much because it gets messy. Now in the inner corner, almost like a cut crease, but it's not because it's so soft. It's like it goes in here and then goes up into the upper crease. Now take a little bit of concealer, like, but don't have it heavy on the brush, like really brush that off on the side. Just cut it just a little bit. You can get it close and it can seem like a cut crease, but then we're gonna take a brush and soften it out so it won't be like a cut crease. Now take a clean brush and just go in between that line and the shadow, soften it up just a little bit. I'm back! So now I am just putting some black underneath my eyes. I'm doing the bottom eyeshadow now. Um, trying to see how she does it but I'm pretty sure it's just like lots of black underneath but in the waterline at least all the way in you see kind of meets with the one on top now I'm putting a little bit of concealer in between those two lines I'm back with lashes on I think pretty much the eyes are done so now all that I have to do lips this is definitely overlined a bit, so we're gonna do that. I don't normally do this, but we're gonna do it today. This is NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Sandstorm, by the way. Then I'm using this peach one in the middle. And this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this look, please like and subscribe. If you wanna see more videos like this or different kinds of videos, anything you would like to see, please leave it in the comment section below. I answer back to everyone's comments, so if you would ever just like to chit chat with me, you can go down there. Follow me on all my other socials. I'll place them right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around. I haven't been here in a while, but I'm 
glad some of you came back and watched this video. Ooh, I'm getting a call. So that is probably my cue. I will see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Bye.